Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day making some really good trades and yep, thank you for your patience for the people who are in the Discord know that I'm having internet problems at the moment and I got it working for the time being but hopefully it keeps working for the rest of the video as it's been cutting in and out but yeah, let's just get into it. Right now we can see that Bitcoin had another choppy day coming coming up and down and you know, not really moving too much. But right now we can see that we just printed our new daily candle and right now we got a 19, a minus five and a red X. So we might even see some possible downside coming into the weekend. And as we are pretty deep in that red money flow and also a red dot confirming, oh, I guess on yesterday's candle now, with on market cipher B and on market cipher A. So things are looking quite bad for Bitcoin. But again, I am in some longs right now and I still expect some upside. I know a lot of people are very bearish and they're saying goodbye 29K, here we come 20K, right? All these, all these things. But you know, we got through the week and we had the economics numbers come out and we saw that unemployment uh, rose by a little bit, by uh, 0.1% or basically 10 basis point and we had the non-farm payroll change which increased significantly more so you know more job creation in the in the April or yeah in or in May or I don't know what we are <laughs> I don't know what month this was reporting I'm pretty sure this was this was for the month of May but yeah overall you know more job creation now this signals that the that the government you know it's giving them the green light for more aggressive rate hikes and that's why the market sold off as they could they see they now see that the fed is going to probably increase rate hikes even more and now they're in, in especially in canada they're even talking about another 0.75 percent rate uh, rate increase and uh, now that the prime rate has already been increased from 2.45 percent all the way to 3.7 they're going to increase it again some more so you can expect mortgage rates to increase even more so things are going to get bad real soon real fast and you know this could be potentially signaling for a bitcoin crash coming again you know there are some bearish a lot of bearish signals but you know the charts are telling me like right now we got some big buy orders on bookmap we could see that another two big another 2000 btcs being bought at 29,500, which is a pretty substantial order and i think it's the same whale on binance that keeps buying it up and let's take a look at the hash ribbon something i actually really wanted to talk about today because we actually can see that we are getting very very close to a capitulation cross now let me remind you you know we have crossed before right here back during that bull run and we got that capitulation cross but you know what from those levels you know we did go down a little bit like seven percent i think and then ultimately we rallied up 18 percent after right now let's take a look at where we are at right now you know we are you know in the big downtrend at the moment kind of like where we were at right here a big downtrend and then we got a capitulation cross and then we rallied we had our big downtrend we've been chopping sideways right now but look where we are at on the charts right if we do come down right if we do come down from these levels right here it would be around seven to eight percent right maybe we dump down all the way here which is around twenty six thousand nine hundred around this previous low and then maybe we get a bounce back up right do we get a bounce back up or sorry a reversal from that from there so a bounce back up an 18 percent move would bring us around thirty five thousand, if i'm not mistaken there we go thirty five thousand, which is one of our targets for bitcoin but you know you never know what's going to happen in the markets <laughs> maybe some people do maybe they got the the recipe down to a, to a to a science but you know you never know you never know and you just try to place your bets and if you place your correct bets then you know you're going to get paid out and right now we can see that ethereum is actually tagging this level again a lot 1770 which is a very very big support at the moment but if this level breaks you're going to be wanting to take out take a look at some lower levels like 1400 so 1400 would be my next target right here i'll probably maybe add to my long depending on what bitcoin does well, you can see a lot of patterns right now on some you know some smaller altcoins you can see that ada is actually looking pretty bullish in my opinion as we can see right here potentially forming a falling wedge which is a bullish pattern so we can see right here if we if ada starts to maybe tag this level once again and breaks out to the upside you might even see a, a touchback once again at 69 cents maybe you'll form a double top maybe you'll pierce this level and go even a little bit higher right you never know 
but all you gotta do is just look at the charts and look what the charts are telling you right now bitcoin is still in this range we are still chopping sideways right i added to my position today around twenty nine thousand five hundred. it's funny because a whale is buying at that level right now i think he bought 922 bitcoins right now and he's adding some more buy orders at twenty nine thousand four hundred. another 200 bitcoin there still has 1500 bitcoins to be filled but let's just see what happens right if the price does keep dumping maybe we are in a bullish pattern right here as well for bitcoin maybe it's a Excuse me, we'll let the sneeze and try to hold it in. <laughs> Maybe we're, we are going to chop sideways right, right here again and then come down to this level, touch it one more time, and then start to go back up, right? The market doesn't, doesn't want you to know the direction, right? They're going to push you to where you know the, the, these big psychological levels where you think it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna finally break down and you know potentially we, we do get a big wick down and then we start to reverse back up and you you know we caught that move completely wrong, right? So obviously a little bit of a contrarian view view right there but you know that's what the market does to you the algorithms you know you buy in and then it starts to sell off right again 30,770 would have been a good point to short there but i didn't enter my short i'm just holding my long i still i still think we are going to tag 33,000, but let's see what the markets tell us the next week now we did get across like i said all that big news next next week monday we don't have anything happening nothing big and coming until friday next week which is the cpi data for you for the us again if the cpi data starts to decrease you know maybe the market's gonna be a little bit bullish but if it starts to increase as they are increasing the rates then that would be extremely bearish in my opinion as you know the fed's rate hikes are not effective which means they're gonna have to do even more rate hikes which is even worse for the market so you're gonna see a massive sell-off in my opinion if that happens but we'll see what happens let's take a look at a few more charts right here again if bitcoin does start, keep start to break down what's <laughs> to these levels you got that 200 weekly at 22,500, and then 16,400 right there is your 300 weekly and after that your 400 weekly which is at 12,500, and then your i think this is the 500 weekly as well i'm not too sure yeah the 500 weekly is all the way, all the way down here at ten thousand dollars but let's see what happens and uh, we're about to close out the week in a couple of days. Let's take a look at the, how the weekly is looking right now on market cipher. You can see, you know, you, you're getting pretty close, in my opinion, to a potential bottom. But, you know, you could have a potential couple more weeks before you actually see a green dot on this right here. And maybe by the time we do get that green dot, maybe the price will be already, you know, at 30,000, maybe even higher. But we'll, we'll see. Again, today you can see that the oil price actually pushing up. We are in a short on oil. And again, we only added a small percentage of our portfolio. And if oil keeps pushing up, then we are going to keep adding to our short position. And eventually oil will sell off because, you know, as we head into elections, Joe Biden's poll numbers are absolutely horrendous. And, you know, he wants to get those votes. So he's got to push that price of oil down. He's going to convince the Saudis to push oil down. And same thing for natural gas. We are still not short on natural gas. Na natural gas is actually getting rid projected at this level right here this major trend line around eight dollars and sixty cents or sixty eight cents and if we do start to come down and retest eight dollars and thirteen cents and we break it then you're going to be taking a look at some some way lower levels like six dollars and eighty seven cents at which point we are going to start taking some profits there but you know we are in a high inflationary environment <laughs> The, the 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 commodity sector is going to be booming in the long term and whoa look at that you can see the bitcoin dominance is pushing up at the moment so the alts are going to get punished significantly more if bitcoin sells off so keep an eye out for that but overall guys i'm still bullish i mean in the short term i'm still bullish in the long term i still think bitcoin is eventually going to break down and we are going to see significantly lower levels such as 20,000 maybe maybe even lower 12,000 14,000 you don't know what's going to happen in a big market crash actually we know we've been actually anticipating a big market correction on the weekly time frame right here or the, even in the monthly time frame for, for bitcoin let's take a look at bitcoin right here on the monthly time frame we can see the way i have a 15 and a minus five and now it's even more bearish with the 16 and a minus five and every time you know a couple months after if we have a, a red cross on the monthly time frame it has led to a massive bitcoin correction so maybe this is you know maybe you said this is the month maybe june is a month where bitcoin goes all the way down to 12,000, 17,000. If that's the case, then you know we might open some some spot trades on the short, on the big short position, and hold it for there. But you know, 
we might even hedge on our longs but uh, i'll take some action i'll see what's going on in this in the discord how are you guys are feeling <laughs> entering some trades right now and i want to see what the market sentiment is actually right now let me take a look quickly i haven't checked yet let's take a look at the fear and greed index and i believe it's a 14 today so a little bit more bullish because we had a bit of a bounce day but you know overall it's gonna be uh i, I think we got a bounce the other day but overall we are going to move down actually let's take a look at infinity's chart i'll just draw it up right now because he is looking at this bull this bearish pattern right here which is where is it you know we'll get on we'll get on a, some a little bit larger time frames he is looking at a potential bearish flag forming again it's not the nicest one but you know it's it could be potentially valid as we can see right here i think it was like this i believe it depends on which exchange you're on let me just flip over to the discord quickly i gotta just make sure i'm drawing this correctly and scroll up yeah it's something something like that it depends on which exchange you're on maybe he's looking at the daily time frame i'm not too sure I'm, I'm doing this live at the moment but yeah if bitcoin does break this level and it is a bearish flag then you might see bitcoin start to come down to significantly lower levels but something that's pretty bullish in my opinion that you guys might not see is right here when bitcoin was in this channel right here and a in a falling in a falling channel like this a descending one we had a massive breakout towards the upside and then we had a bearish pattern right here when everyone was so bullish right we had a huge breakdown to the rise of the downside because this naturally is a bear flag and this one right here is the opposite of that now you can see that on some of the altcoins right here we'll take a look at avax have some you know some bullish patterns as you can see right here you have some falling channels like so so this could potentially mean you know a, a breakout coming for the altcoins if bitcoin starts, start, starts to break out but again you might even get a move avax all the way down here to around 15 dollars and 89 cents before we see any more upside before then so this could mean maybe potentially bitcoin could come down to these levels right here around 26 26 700 but you know we'll see how the charts play out we're going to take our time we're not going to rush into any trades and we're going to be patient and again a lot of the time you know people are very impatient and can't wait for trades and they just rush in and they rush in and then you know they'll end up losing a lot of money but you know we're gonna take our time i'm not in, in any big positions right now i have about 10 percent of the leverage trading portfolio in right now and we, if we could take a loss then we probably shave off you know 10 percent of a 10 percent loss on a 10 percent of the trade which is a one percent loss of the portfolio obviously it's not the biggest loss but we're always try to avoid as many losses that we can anyways guys thanks for listening uh, i'm gonna be making an early video tomorrow i think to upgrade you guys because you guys i'm gonna be busy all day long but you know be calm be safe trade safe and i'll talk to you guys later peace